How you doing, Parker? Good. Glad you're stopping in. Uh, yeah, get back to work. Make that money, man. I'm uh, head to the dog park with Gunner. I'm gonna open some cards while I'm there. Thought that'd be kind of fun. <clears throat> Haven't been there with him in a while, and he's been kind of antsy, so I want to go and throw the ball for a little while and try and tire him out as much as possible. We'll see. He's got so much energy. I was for another dog yesterday, uh, hoping to find him a brother or a sister that he could play with, that, you know, would get the energy out. But uh, the dogs that I found were all project dogs, where they were had real behavioral problems or whatever. Cool looking, but not my cup of tea. I don't want a project. Thanks, appreciate that, Parker. Have a good one, man. We'll see. I was hoping to stop by the antique store also, but I kind of doubt I'll do that today. It's really expensive. Who's a good boy? Who's a good boy? That's right, you are. Yes, good boy. Man, I just love that dog. What's up, Arana boys? How you doing, man? It's good to see you, my friend. I always like when you stop by. Headed to the dog park with this little dude. Throw the ball with him and uh, maybe open some cards, huh? Got some baseball, some Pokemon, some Fortnite. So I'll probably crack into some stuff while we're out there. I'd like to get into that Pokemon and see if I can pull anything out of there. I still haven't opened much of Cosmic Eclipse yet. I've opened a lot of Hidden Fates, but not much of Cosmic Eclipse. So I'm kind of looking forward to that. Cosmic Eclipse doesn't have nearly as many high dollar cards as Hidden Fates does. Um, I think the highest dollar card in there is like 160 or something, and that's probably dropping. But I'd really like to get that card. I believe that's the Charizard from that set, but I could be wrong. I have to go check. All right, man, yeah. I'm trying to, I have to do the same thing. I, I keep, there's a, somebody I bought some Charizards from, Tessa, and uh, I have to try and get her a list of my uh, Ultra Shinies that I need for Hidden Fates and see if she has uh, the fill-in cards that I need. I'll just buy those from her. Um, but it's hard to find time to do that. Like, it just seems like good night with between breaks and trying to come up with content, editing, doing your normal job, trying to keep the dog in check. Uh, you know, you don't prioritize Pokemon cards very often. Probably, uh, probably smart not to. Nice. Salgalo and Lunala. Very cool, man. That was from, uh, Cosmic Eclipse, I'm assuming. Well, see, I haven't even sleeved, or I've sleeved, but I haven't, uh, put any Cosmic Eclipse in a binder. I think it's because I just don't want to buy a binder for every set that comes out, but it just seems like maybe that's the best way to do it. <laughs> Probably the best way. I'm starting to do that for all the, the baseball sets that I want to collect. Um, if I don't want to collect that set, then I just put it in a box by year and type. 
Pokemon, though, you know, how many sets came out this year? Eight? Ten? Twelve? Not twelve. I don't think. But either way, that's that's quite a few. What's up, Dave Durango? How you doing, my man? It's good to see you. And Cause. How you doing, Cause? Well, I don't know if Classic is here, but Classic Cause needs help with the address. We're just headed to the dog park right now with the the young buck. Let him play as much as we can out there. He loves it, man. Loves it. How you doing, Ken? Good to see you. Welcome. <laughs> Gunner, <laughs> sorry, bud. Oh, that was funny. <laughs> oh yeah, you know where we're at, huh? Yes, you do. Decided to get out, huh? Dang. <laughs> that was funny. All right. Clear, but then ended up not being able to sleep. But I never saw you go live. I'm not sure why. Who's a good boy? Who's a good boy? You want the ball? You want the ball? Yeah, the auction went well, cause that's awesome, man. That's great to hear. Oh, Dave, that's not good. Emergency room. That's kind of gnarly, dude. Hope everything's all right. Big meat, Pete. All right, so I'm going to set this stand up. And we'll open some cards here in a little bit, but let's throw the ball with Gunner while we're out here. We can just kind of chat. Take it easy, Dave. Have a good one, man. Feel better. I pl uh, Take care of yourself. Take care of yourself. You gonna play, bud? Where'd your ball go? There it is. That's a good boy. Come on, drop it. Well, that's in the water. <laughs> that water is a little cold for him. <laughs> that's funny. Hey, Cause, you never got the cards still, huh? <laughs> you gotta see him. It's so funny. Oh, Cause, man, I am so sorry, dude. Oh, poor Gunner's freezing out there. It's pretty cold. <laughs> I shouldn't have thrown it out there. He's... He's gonna be chilly. He had to get a swim in. All right, Cos. Well, I'm gonna start looking for those cards on eBay and see if we can help you get them replaced. You don't want to do that, huh, bud? 
You don't want to do that, huh? Here, we'll throw it out this way. I don't know. What's up, Malone? How you doing, my man? It's good to see ya. We're just out here at the dog park right now with my dog, Gunner. We're about to open up some Pokemon cards. He's been sniffing around looking for other stuff, so now's probably a good time because he's not bothering us. The dog has too much energy, I'll tell you that. Could probably work, huh? Yeah. Yeah, let's see what we get. Okay, there's your ball. Here, Gunner. Gunner, come on. All right. Let's crack into this sucker. So how was everybody's weekend? I wasn't able to go live yesterday. Hi, bud. You want to drop your ball? You want to drop it? All right. Let me lift this up real quick because he's in play mode again. No! That was close. Come here. Good boy. That's a good boy. Hey, you outrun it. You outran it, you dummy. Oh, man, it was a good weekend. Got some stuff done. Watched some streams. Did a, a mixer. So what's this no days off November thing? I, I hear that like a bunch of people are just like, we're not going to do, uh, we're not going to buy any cards in November, no card November, which it seems like it's kind of self-defeating when you're uh, trying to produce content, but Ken F doing fair, trying to decide if I should delete my content. Why would you delete your content, man? Like over privacy concerns or, or or what? What's no days off November? Like work the whole time? Cause is doing no shave November. I started my no shave November last November. <laughs> Basically. No days off work in November. Dude, that bites. That bites. So what's the new Coppola? Is it something I violated? I'm, I'm curious now. Yeah, Malone, I don't know if you've seen these yet. Yeah, get it all out. Get it all out, Gunner. So these are the uh, Elite Trainer boxes for Cosmic Eclipse. The newest set to come out, and it's the last set to come out for Sun and Moon. And inside this, you are going to get dice, counters, and... Oh, I am downwind from that. Jiminy Christmas, bro. That's gnarly. Here's a code card for you. That's a code for this box, so you'll actually get some pretty good stuff if you put that in. One, two, three, four dividers. I use these for my baseball cards. Give you a bunch of energy cards in a pack. Huh? 
oh, I'll just set my entire stream for kids then. I'll make sure that it's all set for kids. Or not for kids. There's no way they're actually going to be able to enforce that. They can't fine, you know, Joe Blow $42,000. They do, people are going to revolt. Good night. Okay, here we go. There you go. Yeah, set it not for kids. Get that pesky Deerman situation. I don't know if I got it. I got it taken care of. On my channel, anyways. Zoom in a little bit on these. Yeah, I, I wouldn't be worried about it either, man. That seems kind of ridiculous. There's one of the trainer cards. Mallow and Lana. I'm sorry, the tag team trainer. Oh, you found your ball. All right, give me just a second. Cricketune, Swirlix, Cricketot, Woobat. We have Ducklet, Helioptile. Oh, cool. There we go. That's awesome. That is a, uh, a very nice character card right there. Torkoal. Love that thing. You can get the character cards out of packs that aren't considered uh, hit packs. So, analog Pokemon Go. Exactly. We are uh, out on the river today. Actually, it's on the lake. All right. All right. All right. Let me get your ball. Bring your ball here. Come here. Oh, good boy. Good boy. All right, we're trying to tire this dog out for once in his life. All right, there you go, Torkoal. Yeah, I mean, for them to try to enforce something on 1.8 billion users, come on, that's just not going to happen. Just not going to happen. But, yeah, I would just go and set it, you know, to not for kids, and then you're fine. There you go. You know, I do Pokemon cards, so I kind of want it to be for kids, and I try to make my show as fam family friendly as possible. I don't curse on here. I don't allow anything to be, uh, you know, a little, you know, too sexual in my chat or whatever. I try to make sure it stays pretty clean, but anytime the government gets involved, it's unnerving. We just got a reverse rare Rowlet. Not much. All right, bud. All right. All right. Yeah, YouTube had to would have to do something to, to like get them out of the liability crosshairs of the FTC. At least, you know, formally do something. There's a card. I thought your first stream was good, Malone. I, I uh, enjoyed the content. Um, what I would encourage. Do you want feedback or not? Because I thought it was it was a phenomenal start. I thought the time length was good. Um, you didn't go too long for you know what we were trying to do there. But I think you need to do a time at the beginning. You need to separate your times a little bit. Do a time at the beginning where you kind of go through your team, your lineup, and the matchups that week. And then set aside the second half of the show to just do questions from uh, the chat. That's all you do is answer fantasy questions after that. Bring it here. Come here. Good boy. PowerPoint would be legit too. Yeah, but just do it for the first part of your show. Good night. You just got dirt all over that thing. Unless you have some good statistical slides for questions that people bring up, but that'd be kind of difficult to do. But other than that, I thought it was awesome. I just thought, you know, it was, uh, those, th those two things could be separated out and it'd be awesome. It could be like, it's time for this segment, you know. 
All right, there's your code card. If you guys want those code cards, you go to pokemon.com slash redeem. Okay, and that's uh, online cards. This is a full pack of cards that this code gives you. And uh, those cards are worth some money sometimes. You can sell digital cards if they're really uh, rare cards that you pull there. A Rock Rough Reverse Hollow. So, so far we're... We only got this one character card and hoping for something nicer than that. Good, there's a somebody else with her dog here, so hopefully her dog will play with Gunner. Yeah, man. Yeah, that's that's perfect. That's a great idea. Okay, there we go. I just noticed because, like, I would ask a few questions about my team, um, and then other guys would, and, and their questions would kind of get lost in the chat. And it was like, well, he's got content, plus he's trying to look at the chat. It was just a very difficult, looked like a very difficult situation. The Simeon, Rowlet, no pass. Wow, nothing. Come here. Drop it. Bring it here. Gunner, bring it here. Come on. I can't reach it all the way over there, bud. Bring it here. Good boy. Come on. No, man, you should be helping me out. I think you've got, like, way more subs than I do. You've been running YouTube for a while. I just don't think you've been doing live. I ha I've done a bunch of live. I've only put out, like, three videos that weren't live. But, you know, I like, like live stuff. Funkin', I'm sorry if I didn't say hi to you when you came in. How you doing, my man? Yeah, live, it'll always take you a couple shows to kind of get your bearings. You'll figure out what you want to do. I mean, that's just my suggestion, but um, I'm sure it'll improve over time. And another green card. Wow. Two packs left, and hopefully we can get something nice. Erica, Jolteon, Ends Resolve, Rowlet. We're going to have a uh, Phantump, Alolan Grimer, Magnemite, Eevee. Chaotic Swell and Swoobat. Dude, your incessant whining is driving me bonkers. There, that one's in the water. Now you gotta... I literally think he's breaking through ice to get into the water. He is. There's ice in there. <laughs> Poor little guy. Oh, that's funny. Parker stepped back in. Good to see you, man. We got uh, oh, another green card. Holy cow. It's going to be one of those boxes where you just don't get anything. I mean, we did get that one trainer card. Lillipup. Skrelp. Pikachu. The Stuffle. Pawnyard. Oh, sweet. There's a Pikachu character card with red. Dude, that is awesome. I actually bet that card goes for some money. That would be my guess. I'm going to have to go check, but I'm going to call it a Sheboygan for now. Sheboygan! That is sweet. By the way, Pokemon's sleeves are pretty cool because they have these nice pictures on the back. You can actually play uh, the game with these sleeves pretty easily. So... Anyways, very cool. Also, two character cards in this. One of my viewers had a fun suggestion. I'm going to do sweet, man. That's awesome. Yeah, I, that's how I kind of evolved and morphed and took ideas and suggestions. Here we go. Finally, a white code um, to get my life better. But I there's still so much more I could do, and you just can't make everybody happy. So it just kind of depends. <laughs> oh, Jersey, that's a pretty good one, man. That's a pretty good one. I like that. Pick a game every week, and if I'm wrong, I'll wear a jersey of the team I don't like. Ooh-wee. That's a good one. Sneasel. Natu. Uh, Trap Inch. Sveal. Cosmium. And Ultra Necrozma. That's going to be our quote-unquote hit. And that is holographic. Rare. 
not really worth a sleeve, but I'm going to do it anyways. So we got no like secret rares or any anything like that. We'll just take these and put them back in here. But let's do a little uh, recap, huh? Ultra Necrozma and then these two. That was it. But these two character cards are sweet. Anybody know what that Pikachu is going for? Maybe uh, look it up on... I don't remember what that site is called. If I end up in a Romo jersey, yikes. <laughs> well, hey, at least he's not a player anymore. He's a good commentator, so there's that. Cause it sounds like you've got problems with addresses. <laughs> not the only time you've had a uh, address issue. Actually, it might not. It's probably the post office's fault, but. Yeah, I mean, if you don't like that team, then, yeah, I get it. But, uh, you know, it is what it is. Gunner's finally, like, chilled out for a little bit on the ball. What's crazy is that he just wants to, to do that all the time. Just the ball. Which is all right. So, anyways, uh, it looks like the Astros fans are starting to chill a little bit about this whole uh, sign-stealing gate, as they should. I mean, it's not their fault. And it seems like they're taking it personally. And it's like, this has nothing to do with you personally. It's the team, you know, and it's the management. It's all sorts of things that have nothing to do with the fan base. So, anyways... Uh, I do have some more stuff that we could open. I'm going to have to go back to the car and get it. I probably should. It's Fortnite. And then I did bring a 2019 holiday box of baseball that I could open. Uh, I keep, I'm keeping four of each, 2018 and 2019, of the holiday boxes. Those are going to be like my investment boxes, right? We'll see if they go up in value. And then uh, the other one I have, I just have one other that's left for 2019. I want to open. Dude, how nasty is this ball? Good catch. But then I, uh, I picked up the 2018 Series 2 from Topps. I'm going to keep that as an investment, I think. Although I... I don't know. I want to open it because I don't don't have the bats down Acuna. So I think maybe I'll open it and keep keep opening them and trying for that until I get it and then keep one as an investment. But that would kind of defeat the purpose almost. But I, I do want to get one graded of the uh, bats down Acuna. Now I, I sent one in like last week uh, for Isaac that he won in one of my breaks. Um, or not one, but, you know, bought into my break, and I pulled him bats down Acuna from 2018. And so he asked me to send it in to get graded, so that's in getting graded right now, as well as that Ultra Shiny Charizard, which they're at the grading phase. I should get a grade today in the email, but I am going to resist the temptation to look at my email and try uh, to keep it a surprise for a live show. So I'd love to crack them all open live. That would be like my guess or my uh, attempt. But we'll we'll see if if uh, I can hold out because it's pretty tempting to look at those grades. <laughs> you get them in an email online and you're like, oh, I want to see what I got. I want to see. Very tempting. Oh, Gunner's taking squeege number two. I don't know if the chat went out or not, because it's not moving. Maybe I'm just not that entertaining. Let me go get some uh, some of those other cards. Yeah, get it done, buddy. Good work. This is a nice little lake out here by my town. More of a pond than a lake. See over there, we've got, uh, that's Mount Blanca, 
Little Bear, Lindsay, and Ellingwood. Four 14,000 foot mountains. And then that mountain range goes all the way down. There's Crestone Needle and Crestone Peak. Great Sand Dunes National Monument right over there in that corner. And we've got uh, mountains all around. Hi, bud. I love this valley because being surrounded by mountains is, I don't know, feels like safety to me for some reason. I think a security in it. Yeah, man, car collecting is where it's at. I absolutely love it. I'll take this whole box, why not? Yeah, get that ball. I don't know, car collecting's just been a blast to me, and I, I was so surprised when I first got back into it with this community, because I was so cautious. You know, there were so many shysters in this industry when I was young, so many shysters, that I just had no desire to be part of that. I was like, this is not uh, for me. These guys just don't seem to be honest and seem to be manipulative, and I just don't know if I'm ever being told the truth on what something's worth, or especially if it's my card, you know. I go and value it, or ask the guy to give me a value on it, and he goes, oh, it's worth nothing. Well, that's what they've always said. Nobody's ever told me a card's worth something, ever. So how come only the cards you have are worth something and the cards I have aren't? And that's when I started to realize that maybe they're just pulling the wool over my eyes so that they can get my card for cheap. Still believe it, because it's true. Yeah, man. Recap those picks from last week would be awesome. And see how you did. If you kept track of that, like, on a spreadsheet, that would be sweet. Or start, like, a, a pool with your, with your audience. Like a pick pool every week. So, I have... Another box of these Fortnite cards, because I didn't hit anything cool in the last one that was, like, rare. And I was like, well, let's see if I can get a shiny card or a hollow card. That'd be sweet. And he blew up like Michael Gout. Yeah. Yeah, man. So what you should do, Malone, is do uh, like your the calls that you made that were winners and the calls that you made that were losers. <laughs> the winners and losers. Be like, I called this game right. Oh, and I didn't call this one. Pulled one shiny at a Fortnite so far. So you've been opening some Fortnite too, huh, Rana? Oh, dang it. Sorry, sorry. Gunner, my goodness. You got so much energy. All right, I gotta flip the camera around. It always takes a second, so mind my, don't mind my nose. I have to touch that thing three times to get it to zoom correctly, which is weird. Yeah, I haven't pulled any, but I've only opened one box so far, so I kind of want to see if I could get something. Should have brought my knife with me today. I don't know what I was thinking. Well, I was thinking, get all this stuff and go to the park. All right, drop it again. Drop it. Great googly moogly, I didn't put my phone on do not disturb. Should have done that first. Nothing inside, let's see what we got here. Drop it. 
Come here. All right, here we go. Let's give me something rare. That'd be nice. It's a checklist. Hey, look at that. That looks shiny to me. A legendary outfit. That looks hollow to me. Pretty sure that's what we've been waiting for here. I love how it's Panini that does this. I don't know why that's funny to me. It's just weird to see a Fortnite card with Panini on it and then see like a serious baseball player with the same thing. We have two blasters and a ton of Fortnite packs. We collect Fortnite figures. Nice! Yeah, I think this little shiny's here uh, Sheboygan, isn't it? It's the first one I've ever pulled, so I don't know how rare they are, but this is the second blaster I've done. So we'll see. Okay, there we got a lamp. Uh, some dude and some chick. So, nothing rare there. Really rare. My nephews and nieces, man, they used to love Fortnite, and I think they're kind of over it now. They've moved on to Minecraft. They like it way more. And Overcooked, if you guys have ever watched that or played that game, it's hilarious. Alright, let's see what we got here. Nice. Can't remember what gun that is. Burst Assault, yeah. Burst Assault Rifle, which is a terrible gun in that game. I can't stand it. Good boy. Okay, we got our picture cards. Nice, that's our hunting rifle, I believe. That's red. I don't know what red means. Uncommon, okay. And then an ice block. Rare harvesting tool. All Jiminy Christmas. We got somebody coming in. One, two, three of those. Got a nice little shotgun here, 12 gauge. And then a couple of army dudes. Army looking dudes. That's a pretty cool one. It's a nice epic outfit right there. I like that. Put that here. Hand cannon. All right, what's our shiny silver pack? It's harder to open than the other ones. Good night. And it's just going to be an epic outfit. So it's just one card. So that's it, but we did get the shiny that I was looking for. That was the only reason I got into this box, was because I wanted to see what they were like. See if I could actually pull something rare from this that I could maybe turn around and flip to somebody else. Or give away. I'm sure my nieces and nephews would love this stuff. That's pretty cool. Got a nice shiny panda suit. All right, Gunner. All right. Bring the ball here. Bring it here. Come on. Get your ball. Bring it here. Run away, gonna never coming back. Run away on a one-way track. 
Good boy, Gunner. Drop it. You gotta drop it. These are for me. These are crackers for me. Not for you. Alright, drop it. I do want to check if Walgreens has some uh, what are those Fairfield boxes I still have yet to find a hot corner box from Fairfield I don't know if you guys have or not but drop it I believe tomorrow we're going to be going to hobby store up in Pueblo looking for some more product. So if you guys uh, have enjoyed seeing me go to the card shops in the past, then you should check out tomorrow because there will be new ones tomorrow from Pueblo, Colorado. There's only two, I think, in Pueblo that I know about. But I'm going to try both of them and see if we can find anything good. See if we can find any... Uh, Good uh, hobby boxes, jumbo, good deals, some nice individual cards. Pueblo is a lot closer than Colorado Springs, so I'm hoping that it pans out because I'd prefer a shop that's closer. Springs is like three hours, Pueblo is like two. This dog is a trip. I'm just trying to cool off because he's too hot now, which is crazy because it's ice water. on the edge he's literally having to break through the ice to get into the water oh he's thirsty well buddy anyways the the dog that i uh looked at yesterday was just like barky mcbarkerson did not like me at all and they said he was fine and then they're like well maybe he just doesn't like uh men just barked and barked and barked at me i got a big old beard i probably am a little scary to some dogs Maybe that's it. Maybe I just need to take treats back and try again. See if I can get him to calm down. Because it was a cool looking dog and I'd love to have something um, for Gunner. Somebody for Gunner. Malone, I don't know if you're still here, but I lost my fantasy, even after our talk. It was unfortunate. But I lost, and I should have won. I was projected to win handily. And every single player I had underperformed, which was bad. Only Garoppolo played well. Christian McCaffrey got over 20 points, which is good. But other than that, it was bad news bears. Christian McCaffrey is a beast, though. I mean, this guy is like a once-in-a-lifetime talent that is already a Hall of Fame candidate. I mean, in my mind, the guy is just awesome. Obviously, he's not a Hall of Fame candidate. He's only in his second year, but he's just on track. That is a very likely, uh, if he doesn't, barring any injury, very likely that he could make it, which would be sweet. Good boy!
<laughs> Almost hit him right in the face. How you doing, Joey? Good to see you, my man. I uh, mailed out packages yesterday, so if you're on my break this weekend, you should get your package here in a couple days. And yours was one of them, Joey, obviously. Good bloods. Not sure what to do for this break, though. Got that Chronicles box. I do have the 2018 update, but I want to use, or uh, Series 2, but I want to save that for myself. So I've got Chronicles, and I probably need to pick up some other hobby boxes. I was thinking that I need to do a, a mixer across various sports, not just baseball, but do like a baseball, football, basketball, maybe some non-gaming. So that people in the collecting world can pick up a gallery would be a great idea, actually, because you're right, gallery just came out not too long ago. That'd be a great hobby box, and I really like the look of them. They're super clean. Yeah, maybe I'll do a gallery. What else is kind of similar to gallery? Well, anyways, that's, that's a good idea. I want to pick up some Panini products, though, and do like a Panini mixer. So I need to, to figure out, Chronicles was good. Probably some Optic, that'd be a good idea. And then I could throw a really high end in, like uh, Immaculate. Ooh! People that have access to Immaculate, oh, or National Treasures, that'd be awesome. I don't see that happening very often, but that's what I want to do. I want to be able to get you guys access to big, big, big cards like that. Hi, El Kamam, where are you at? Then, are you in Albuquerque or something? What's up, JDLS? How you doing, man? Elka Mom in the house. Come here. Bring it here. What's up, breaking cards? Good boy. How you doing, man? Good to see you. Fresh bread awaits. Yeah, I saw your text. I'll have to come get some. Um... Fresh bread, huh? How did Casey leave her sign in on your computer if she's in Albuquerque? I don't get that. Oh, living the dream, man. I'm out here in beautiful Colorado. Throwing the dog or the ball with my dog. There's a view I have right now. Nice Mount Blanca in the background. Oh, that's all right. You don't have to be tech savvy as long as uh, as long as you're watching. I just need the watch hours, mom. No, I'm just kidding. Yeah, I think uh, I am. I do feel like I am living my dream now, in some respects. I just really enjoy my life compared to a few years ago. Even a, a year ago, you know went through that divorce that was rough went through some addiction issues that was rough um and now things feel like they've smoothed out and i'm happier and whole got my family around me i just need to find me a lady friend now she's not my special lady she's my lady friend trying to get into the ice water for some reason he's a hunter that's good boy ah my goodness this is not good this is not good been praying for one what A miracle? I need a miracle.
Oh, lady friend. <laughs> ah, thank you, Mom. That's very nice of you. All in good time. All in good time. They have to be able to put up with a hairy hobby enthusiast, gun enthusiast, libertarian, stay off my property, ne'er do well. Hard to come by. When you find one, you know the right one. It's funny because I've had a lot of uh, a lot of relationships, and you know they're kind of uh, intrusive <laughs> in your life. So yes, I'm happy living alone in that aspect, and I've gotten good at it. That's probably the better issue, you know, dorm dorm life for ten years, being on your own from fourteen. Sort of learned to enjoy or at least um, deal with living alone well and I just can't there's like a maximum velocity on these throws and I'm trying to get this ball out as far as I can it's not going far enough good boy he's a good boy Oh, that's a good pot. You have to breathe right into the mic. You have to do that. Oh, nice. Dayman. Oh, fighter of the night, man. Oh, champion of the sun. Oh, you're a master of karate and friendship for everyone day man man absolutely love that episode probably one of my favorite well definitely my favorite show of all time but besides south park obviously south park is the best cartoon it's always sunny is the best tv show i've ever watched in my life absolutely hilarious so you guys want me to crack into that holiday i don't know i kind of don't want to crack into it, but I feel like maybe I should. Yeah, let's do it. I got one more holiday to open. The last holiday of the season for me. Champion of the sun. Tombstone is also one of the greater movies of all time. That's a nice tree. I like that tree. <laughs> Thank you, Breakin. I appreciate that. Yes, that is pretty hilarious. Why are you eating cat food, Charlie? I don't know how to explain it, Dee. There's some weird chemical reaction when you combine cat food, glue, and beer. It makes you feel really sick and you want to fall asleep and... Why would I want to feel sick? Because there's going to be about a thousand cats outside this window in a few minutes. And you cannot sleep with a thousand cats outside. Why do you have cats outside my window? Or your window? Because my building is infested with rats, D. Holiday box. Sorry, I just put a cracker in my mouth. I shouldn't have done that. I'm not going to do what I did last time. Take them from the top. Because they're usually on the bottom, the very nice ones. Hey, bud. You're a master of karate. You know what? I'm going to put this down as like a little card pad. Oh! 
Okay, let's see what we can get out of here. We're looking for that nice um, bush patch, whatever we call it. I know we keep saying bush patch, but it's just like a patch that's got like a Santa hat fur on it. Jeff McNeil, Jan Moncada, Scott Kingery. We have an Austin Meadows here, Ryan Harper, Aaron Nola. There is a Brian Buxton, Nick Anderson, and a Nolan Arenado. So first pack looks like it was duds on short prints, duds on uh, metallics. What's up, Isaac? How you doing, man? <coughs> it's good to see you. I wanted to uh, email you my photo and see if I could get it uh, graphically designed. But I forgot to do it last night after we talked. There we go. There's our first metallic. Merrill Kelly, rookie card. It's kind of a disappointing metallic, but all right. Right, uh, Hinjin Ryu, Luke Voigt, Anthony Rendon, and George Springer. Have you seen the 19 gallery? Yeah, I looked at them. I, I watched a break of them yesterday. Uh, man, they look sweet. I like them a lot. That was funny because there were some people that were like, no, nah, these are terrible. Some of the drawings are awful. The artwork is awful, but I liked it. Cool, man. I appreciate that. Oh, look at this. Oh, this one's going to be numbered. Oh, look at that. All right. So we found our card, whatever it is, our holiday relic card, Josh Bell of the Pittsburgh Pirates. And it is. I finally got it. I got my bush patch. Oh, that is awesome. Sheboygan. Finally. Boy, that's taken too long. Hey, 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 hey. You don't, you don't get your stinky little ball up in my cards come here drop it weasel just like a child throw that ball and see if i can get him to run okay this is josh bell from the pittsburgh pirates this is like just it's like the ball the puff ball in the hat but they, they put it here And this one is numbered to 75, which is awesome. I have not seen one of these before, or I've seen them, but I have not held one before. And this is why I opened this box is because I was wanting to find one of these. So finally, found ourselves a nice number to 75 bush patch for Josh Bell. Shaboygan! It's pretty much all I cared about. Man, I'm excited. That was sweet. I didn't want that specific player, but that's all right. Kirby Yates, Yasmani Grandal, Matt Chapman, DJ LeMayhew. Look at that. These two guys side by side. Legit ball players right there. Legit. Blake Snell right behind him. Also phenomenal ball player. Here's Strasburg. That's going to be a metallic. Very nice. I like that one a lot. Strasburg, that's a good hit. Strasburg metallic. Oh, it's not going to be able to sit on there, so I'm going to have to move the one of one, or the 70, of 75 patch, not one of one. Barrios, Orlando Arcia, Spencer Turnbull, and Christian Yelich. That's going to finish off that pack. All right, Gunner, all right, I'll throw your ball. Give me a second. Give me a second. Yeah, that was a cool pull. I'm, I'm really happy we pulled that card. Luis Arias. Uh, Tyler O'Neill, Justin Smoke. There's a Shohei Otani. Shohei, Shohei. Oh, finally, our first short print. It's going to be a DeGrom. My apologies going to be a DeGrom, and DeGrom with a Santa hat. Very cool. We're going to be numbered out of 63, so that's just a normal short print. But very nice. I'll take a short print any day of the week. Austin Allen. Ahmed Rosario. Nice little Juan Soto gold cup there. Very, very nice. And an Aussie Albie. Little Albies sliding into who knows what base. Sliding somewhere.
Max Kepler. Got J.D. Hammer here. Little Patrick Corbin action. Alex Verdugo. And there's going to be our metallic. Jose Peraza. Begs the question, who? Edwin Diaz and Edwin Encarnacion. I just watched Nacho Libre last night. Part of it, anyways, while I was falling asleep. Little Billy Hamilton and uh, Renato Renato Nunez. Very cool. All right, moving along, moving along. Already got a very cool bush patch. Dominic Smith. We have Mikel Franco. Nomar Mazzara. There's an Eloy Jimenez. Very nice. I don't think I have Eloy from this set yet. Clint Frazier. Uh, Pedro Avila. Dietrich. There's a Vladdy Guerrero Jr. Two great rookies in this one. Very, very nice pack. Charlie Blackman and Lucas Giolito. All right, we got three packs left, I believe. <clears throat> Jake or Dizzo or Dizzo, nice Yastrzemski. We wanted that one, that's for sure. Verlander, Harold Ramirez, and there's a Shohei Otani Metallic Gold Cup. Very nice. I like that one too. Okay, bud. Okay. Strasburg. We have a Scherzer. Josh Donaldson. Nice Hunter Renfro and a Carlos Correa. Hey, you need to be patient and respectful. You don't whine at me like that. Okay, two packs left. I'm sorry, I don't ever want to have to dress down the dog in front of you guys. but You've got to learn, bud. <laughs> That's the uh, worst dressing down he's ever gotten. Mitch Hanniger. Hey, hey, hey. Back up, buddy. Hunter Dozier. Yasiel Puig. Dude, get out of my face. Chris Davis. John Duplantier. Uh, Ryan Presley. Corey Seager. Here we've got a Brendan Rodgers rookie. We're going to have Ryan Helsley and David Price. So we're hoping for one more short print out of here. I highly doubt there will be one, but uh, we're hoping for one more. But uh, a metallic is definitely more likely in this pack. So hopefully we can get a decent metallic here to end it off. Aaron Judge. Thyro Estrada. There's a Freddie Freeman. Nicky Lopez. Lorenzo Cain. There we go. Max Scherzer. Very nice. That's what I wanted. Max Scherzer Metallic. Love it. World Series champion. Max Muncy, Josh Bell, uh, Jorge Alfaro, and Mejia Francisco. Hey, man, that's not a bad box at all. I'm pretty happy with that box. Do a little hits recap here. Be careful because I don't really have sleeves here. I know, bud. It's not easy being you. All right, go off, please. Got a Max Scherzer Metallic, a Shohei Otani Metallic, Yastrzemski, Guerrero, and Jimenez for rookies, big rookies, Jorge per Jose Peraza, Jacob deGrom short print, very cool short print, Steven Strasburg, so we got two World Series champs in this, uh, Metallics, that's very cool, um, Merrill Kelly, and then we've got this nice Josh Bell bush patch. A little bushy. Bushy patch. Number to 75. First number card I've ever seen out of here. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. I'm happy with that box. I heard that Topps 2020 Astro Relics are going to be rubber made trash can pieces. <laughs> oh, that is brutal. And hilarious. I love it. Yeah, it's uh, 
By the way, Astros fans, if you're an Astros fans, don't take any of this stuff personally. Get in on the joke. Like Wilmer. Wilmer gets in on the joke, you know, and it's pretty funny because he kind of makes fun of himself, makes fun of the Astros a little bit. That's good. That's how it should be. You know, it's not you guys' fault. It's just uh, baseball. It's how it goes. Unfortunate. You poor unfortunate souls. By the way, it's been a, a while since I've watched Little Mermaid. A, you know, a, a while. Probably, I would say 10 years, maybe. And I watched it the other day just because I got Disney Plus and I was like, oh, well, why, why, not? why not? Let's see what this, what this is all about. I can't remember it. Uh, it's nearly as good as I used to be able to. And I got to tell you, what a terrible storyline. I mean, this little girl basically like meets, doesn't even meet a guy. She sees a guy from a distance and sells her soul and her voice to a, a sea witch. And the sea witch gives her the option of kissing this guy within three days to like become human completely. But she has to give up her voice for it. I mean, literally doesn't even know. She's never even talked to him. I mean, it's absolute insanity, and somehow we encourage kids to do that. I don't know. I like the Astro C. Yeah, there you go, JDLS. Got to rip on them a little bit. It's hilarious. That would be a great idea for a relic. <laughs> I'd be so messed up, though. Uh, it would be funny to see. It's getting a little chilly, huh, bud? Come here. Drop the ball. Good boy. We've been out here. I don't know, a little over an hour, and he hasn't slowed down hardly at all. Dog loves to play. There's all sorts of scandals that are going to happen in sports. It's just part of the game. You know, when you had umpires that were fixing games or referees or whatever they're called in basketball. Referees that were... Uh, basically fixing games. Um, we've had that happen multiple times, but it was a pretty big scandal there in the NBA. Got uh, the NFL with its slew of issues from various players. They're trying to clean up, or have always been trying to keep their act clean in the NFL, but it seems to be a farce because uh, the majority of the issues that the players get into are off-field, and they look like uh, they're getting into drug-related problems, usually. Domestic violence. It would be a great spot to get some ducks if they would let us do any hunting. But we have a uh, city council that's run by morons. They're getting better, but it's outside of town. It would be a good spot to get some ducks. Really, uh... Not much around for a shotgun to touch. So it'd be awesome. There's a bunch of geese out there right now. but Can't shoot Canadian geese, that's illegal. Is that illegal in Canada too? Or can you guys hunt Canadian geese there? We can't. Gunner's like trying to clean his ball off, I think. Did you get it clean, bud? Did you get it clean? Oh, the good boy. You gotta drop it. Good boy. Oh, it's all dirty again. 
Yeah, this is just a little pond outside my town. I come out here and I uh, used to come out here a lot when I was uh, several years back living here just out of college. But now they put a dog park in, so I bring him out as much as I can. He loves it. I used to have really big dog parks in Denver that I could go to that had tons of dogs in them. But this one, it's always just me and him, it seems like. Rarely are there other dogs here. And when they are, they're not very playful dogs. Gunner's super playful. Yeah, exactly. Whenever there's money involved, there's going to be scandals. Especially that much money, you know? I'm talking about players that are trying to win a World Series, maybe get to the Hall of Fame, and all sorts of stuff. There's, like, a lot of personal... Um, investment into it but from a team perspective as, as well so yeah it is a great view here this is we're at 7600 feet in the valley that i'm at so it's pretty high up and uh all the mountains that are around us we have 11 14 000 foot mountains that surround the valley probably more than that if you go just expand your radius a little bit but um there's 54 total in all of colorado we have a lot of them here. That's why it's a really cold place. Cause it's really high, 7,600 feet. Um, you know, it can get cold and stay cold. If the cold air gets socked in here, it's not getting over the mountains and getting out. No, no news on a sibling for Gunner. I'm going to go check one other place probably today. See if they've got any options. But the uh, options yesterday were uh, that dog just barked and barked and barked at me and had no interest in like even letting me get anywhere near him so that wasn't gonna work jason says he's at sea level no mountains just palm trees dude i love palm trees though i actually love the ocean i'm kind of a ocean boy that's living in the mountains but i i love the mountains too so don't get me wrong i just need a house in both places so i gotta get rich enough to do that and to go to get rich i need to get famous so share this video with all of your friends <laughs> really near the ocean sweet yeah i uh i lived near the ocean in california surfed all the time love surfing i've surfed a lot of places costa rica mexico uh north carolina south carolina florida california uh i was gonna go to australia that ended up not happening. Uh, Hawaii, that was awesome. My whole, yeah, my whole family, extended family, is from California. Snow geese are a twenty a day regular season, uh, or a twenty a day and regular geese five a day. I got gotcha. you. Okay. I'm sure you've got a better population up there than we do, but they've got to travel down here anyways. They always come through here. We're getting a lot of the uh, cranes they're in. We get a lot of uh, sandhill cranes. And then there's like some rare cranes that come through here too. But anyways, yeah, California, that's where both my parents were born. Well, my dad was born in Washington, but they grew up in California. And my extended family is all from California, so I go out there. All the time, I mean, several times. Well, probably once a year now, but I used to go out several times a year. And I used to live there, so there you go. Fraser Crane. <laughs> Doctor. The mountain you're looking at in the viewfinder in the camera is Mount. There's four 14ers there: Blanca, Little Bear, Lindsay, and Ellingwood. I've only climbed one of them. My dad used to do search and rescue in those mountains. Got a lot of gnarly stories about search and rescue there. It's an interesting place because it's very high up, very cold, but yet we don't do the the like winterizing that Alaskans do, and we should. It's kind of a, I don't know, not smart on our part. But uh, and then and then there's very few people in this valley, and they're kind of a depressed economy. So 
The temperature right now, it's actually not bad out today. Today is supposed to get up to like the high 50s, um, which is surprisingly good for this time of year. Uh, yeah, so we're at 50 degrees right now. And we've actually had a fairly warm week. This whole week has been, and the weekend was kind of, kind of warm. I'm sure we're gonna get something. Yeah, we can't hunt cranes either, no. I'm sure we're gonna get some real cold weather here soon. It hasn't gotten to zero yet though, which is good this time of year. It will. Yeah, they're endangered. In fact, the there's a certain crane population. Is El Kamam still here? El Kamam, what is the cranes that are like super endangered that come through the valley here? Chat Town, how's it going, man? It's good to see ya. I just opened some cards here at the dog park, and now I'm just playing a little catch with the dog, a little fetch. Whooping cranes, that's it. Yeah, the whooping cranes. So we get whooping cranes that come through. And their population at one point, they said, was like like 100 cranes or something like that. And the majority of them were here in our valley. Is that true, Mom? Or were there more than that? Was it like 1,000? Or... There aren't any more? They're completely extinct now? No. What? Really? What you been up to, chat? There's only a hundred left in the world. That's crazy. So, what are we opening? Well, we already opened some stuff. Got a lab puppy as a friend for my two-year-old lab. He's never been happier. See, that's what I need to do. I need to. That's what I've been trying to do is find another dog for Gunner. But we opened some stuff already, chat. But I'll show you the highlight of it. We were able to get this sucker out of Holiday. A nice little bush patch, numbered to seventy-five. I was very happy about that card. Very happy, because I haven't got one yet, so. Day off for a doctor's appointment for your arm. Ooh, what'd you do to your arm? Yeah, man, it was a good little hit. I, I was happy about that one. We opened some Fortnite, some Pokemon. We got a few character cards in the Pokemon, so. I don't know, overall it was pretty fun little opening. Gunner, calm down, bud. See, it's so wild. When I do this view on here, you can see how much gray is in my beard. What's up, NASCAR? Go get it, buddy. Go get it. Torn bicep or tendon. Oh, man, that's not ideal at all. Talk about pain. I had a buddy that tore his bicep, and it was nasty, dude. It was nasty. I tore my abs once. Talk about the worst, because you use your abs for everything. And, man, I could not do anything without my abs. It was so painful. I just had to use Vicodin for weeks. Hall of Fame predictions for the next election. Do I have predictions? I mean, I think I have some hopes. <laughs> I don't know if I have predictions. I think there's some pretty surefire people that I think will get in. Who we have on the ballot this year? We got uh, Larry Walker and John Smoltz, right? I wonder see if I think both of those guys have a pretty good chance. Be interesting. Yeah, no problem, chat. Good boy. Good boy. But honestly, I need to go and check out uh, the full ballot because I uh, all I do is talk about people that you guys bring up. So I haven't actually looked at the ballot myself. All right, Smoltzy's already in. No, it wasn't Smoltz. It's Donnie Baseball. It's Mattingly that's supposed to be getting in this year. That's who I meant. So if Mattingly and Walker, I think those are my two hopes, and I believe we'll get in, but we'll see. And Jeter, yeah. I forgot about Jeter in this class, huh? Walker, I think this is his... Is this his last year of eligibility? 
before the veterans ballot. Jeter and Walker. How many to get put in every year? Is there a certain amount or can they put in as many as they want? I think it's a certain amount, right? A set amount. They only put two or three. So it's just a 75% vote. All right. So they don't limit it to the number of people that can get in. It's just you have to get over a certain amount of votes. Makes sense. It's not a bad idea. So you think Walker, Jeter, I mean, you don't think Don Mattingly will get in? He's got a real good chance. Not yet. It's not as is this his first year on the ballot? Can't be. Maybe it can. Let me think, when did he come out? He's on the veterans ballot. That's what I mean. Is his first year on the veterans ballot? How many years can you go on the veterans ballot, by the way? Ten years on that also? Come on. We're not going out. We're uh, going back in. Yeah, I'm not sure either. Okay, well. We'll see what happens with Mattingly. Dude, I think you should get in, quite frankly. Donnie Baseball. How do you have a name like Donnie Baseball and not get in? Well, it's going to be a similar situation, I guess, with Johnny Football, because there's no way he's getting in. Come on. Go up. Come on. Let's go. Come on. Up. It's always the risk you, you take when you, like, preemptively name somebody something. You know? Johnny Football. It's a little, little early to be calling him Johnny Football. Now, they did call King James. LeBron James, King James. Pretty early on. It wasn't terrible. Dude, get in the back, please. Go on. Go on. You're getting you're dripping mud everywhere. Whoa! What about you? Do you have any predictions for next year? Or for uh, this next class? I guess this year, I mean. So here's our golf course, and as you can see, it's like in terrible shape. It's because it was flooded the entire year. So I bought season pass to play golf there, and it was flooded the majority of the year, so I got hosed. My dad was trying to convince me that as a taxpayer, somebody that wants to have a golf course open, that I should be willing to subsidize it, uh, you know, and I shouldn't get a refund. And I was like, dude, come on, that's ridiculous. Government can run a business poorly and I have to subsidize them, but why can't a private industry buy that thing out? Yeah, Derek Jeter and Larry Walker, I think both of those are, are good calls. I agree with you. Walker, oh man, I would I hope so bad that Walker gets in. Just because he's, you know, 
representative of the Rockies. He'd be the first guy that was a Rockies player that uh, had a pretty storied career and played most of his time there to get into the fame, Hall of Fame. Todd Helton would be sweet to get in someday, but that's definitely years down the road and doesn't probably have the statistics to get on the ballot, but he's got the best chance of any homegrown Rockies player. Homegrown talent. Walker was not homegrown. We imported him from Canada. Montreal Expos. He was a hitter, though. Woo. I'm rooting for Todd, too. It's a real long shot, but I'm, uh, it would be cool to see him get in. What a consummate professional. Now, he did have some off-field issues. He got, a like, a DUI or two. Um, this was right after, or maybe his last year, last season. So, he has some definite, some personal issues that were, uh, you know, affecting how I felt about him. But, still think he's... A phenomenal player worthy of getting into the hall and I still think he's just a great great individual what's up Wilmer it's good to see you man oh really he played for the Jacksonville Expos that's cool that's really cool man you know I I got to see when I lived in North Carolina the Asheville tourists I got season tickets to them and the Asheville tourists so they uh, are the single a affiliate of the Colorado Rockies it was just by chance that they were in Asheville, which is so lucky because I'm a huge Rockies fan. So it was fun to be able to watch, you know, real young players early on. Um, that was cool. I got season tickets for five bucks a ticket. And I sat, it was me and probably 10 or 12 scouts every day. And the scouts would just sit there with their radar gar guns behind home plate. And my tickets were right behind home plate, first row behind home plate. And it was just me and all these scouts. I uh, got to know them pretty well. They were pretty hilarious. You know, they got kind of bored because they're at games all the time, just clocking and tracking different players that they're scouting. It's wild. Team had Randy Johnson. Wow. Alino DeShields. Marquez Grissom. Dude. That'd be pretty sweet to watch. There wasn't hardly anybody big when I was watching the Rockies because it was 07-08 when I had uh, the tourists' season tickets. That was the year the Rockies went to the World Series, um, but their minor league farm system had uh, been flushed out almost. Like, a lot of those good guys had come up, um, and it was kind of an in-between time, so Arenado wasn't up yet. So it was, it was a time. Where are we headed? I'm headed back home. We just had the dog out at the dog park, opened some cards while we were there. We got into some Fortnite. Uh, some Pokemon, Fortnite Pokemon, and uh, and uh, 2019 Holiday Box, which is really cool. Really like that. Yeah, 07 was a fun year. It was a really fun year to watch the Rockies. I was out of baseball for about three years before that, and then uh, switched over or started watching again in 2007, and just happened to be the year the Rockies went to the series. I got MLB season ticket that year. And, or whatever it's called, MLB, whatever, you know what I mean, MLB.tv, since I was living in, in North Carolina, and I took pride into watching every single game except two that year. I watched all 160 games, only missed two of them. So, that was pretty legit, I was pretty happy about that. That was a fun year to watch baseball. Made it to May's, uh homemade bread and tomato bisque super ready. Sweet. I'll uh, be coming over to get that. 05 was a fun year for the Astros fans. Yeah, that would that would have been a fun year. You're right. Max Pack Breaks. I'm doing well, my friend. Doing really well. Just headed, headed back home. Green chili and rice dish that would be ready at 2 o'clock. Plenty for you. So I've got both parents making food and uh, pitching it to me on here, which is awesome. I will be taking all of it. <laughs> Isn't that right, Gunner? You need a bath. That's what you need. You're a filthy little sad pup. He's sad that we're leaving the park. Look at him. It's not easy being you, is it? 
Oh, thank you, Max Pax Brakes. I appreciate that, man. I appreciate that a lot. Yeah, I've started to, to slow down on my growth quite a bit, and it's just because I haven't been able to, to really be growing outside of the community or, or expanding outside of the channels that are, um, you know, I've already kind of committed to watching because I just don't have time. But I, I've started to. I've started to kind of branch out, find some new channels, um, and start listening to some of the shout-outs like you are, are giving and go and check those channels out and see if there's some uh, good content there. It's always great content on YouTube, and it's uh, dumb of me to slow down on, on trying to find new content because I've, I'm too busy. You know, keep looking. There's good stuff. Get your ball. Let's go. He can't get out of the car unless he has a, a ball. So he'll look around until he finds one. Is it okay if I say that we, uh, what I have going on? Absolutely, man. Yeah, go ahead and plug away. Check out Max Pack Breaks channel. Um, if you haven't yet, go and give him a, a sub. But go ahead, Max. Tell what to, he's going to type in the chat what he's got going on on his channel. While he's doing that, I'll kind of get into what I'm doing on my channel this week. So tomorrow, like I said, I will uh, be making a... Uh, card shop video, so I'll be heading up to another LCS in Pueblo, maybe two LCSs up in Pueblo and seeing if we can pick up uh, a few more products. So that will be tomorrow's uh, road trip channel uh, or road trip stream. Um, then Friday we'll have our Mega Baseball Mixer number five, which will probably be our last Mega Baseball Mixer um, for a little bit because we'll probably be switching it up to to some other mixers after this where we will have baseball involved but it won't be primarily baseball so um that's my thought but if you guys are still uh just into baseball and just want to do that and that seems to be the only thing selling then we'll just do that so anyways all right so here he goes max pack breaks giving away free packs tonight at in about 30 minutes, uh, wow, in 30 minutes? Good night. It's like 12.30 here. 30 minutes is like 1 o'clock. That's not tonight. That's this afternoon. I'll take it, though. Giving away free packs tonight in about 30 minutes, plus giveaway. All you have to do is sub and reg on our site for newsletters. Very cool, man. All right, well, I will do that. So if you register on a site and uh, get the newsletter, um, then you will be entered for his free giveaway, which is awesome, and doing some packs give or pack giveaways. Sweet, that's cool, awesome. Max Pack Breaks, well, go 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 check him out as soon as he goes live. I'll be getting off here in a few minutes. Um, I see a few other people are starting to go live, and um, I don't want to take up all the time, obviously or all the time slots, but I did want to go out and uh, take Gunner to the park, open some packs today, and do that before our little road trip channel tomorrow. So tomorrow we'll be road tripping uh, up to get some cards, and then Thursday we are probably going to just be cracking some stuff here um, at, the, uh, at the studio, and then uh, maybe doing a couple of uh, little giveaways via trivia. So... Be around Thursday, because Thursday might be a trivia giveaway day. Not just might be, probably will be. So, uh, thank you, Max Pack Break. I, I appreciate that, man. Um, thank you for plugging it. Oh, hey, so my cousin wants to do a live break of Cosmic Eclipse. Selling slots and whatnot. Uh, you use Streamlabs. I do use Streamlabs, yes. But for if you're trying to do multiple cameras, like uh, kind of a you know, multiple people on the stream, then StreamYards might be better. Um, StreamYards is super easy to use. It's e easier than StreamLabs, in my opinion, but StreamLabs has way more functionality to it. So, um, yes, I use I use StreamLabs, and I really like StreamLabs. And you can bring multiple people in on StreamLabs, too. So you just have to get a little creative with it. So it just depends on how you want to do it. 1240. All right, guys, well... I'm probably going to cut it off here um, and uh, get some sorting done. 
Uh, I see that Urban has gone live, so let me go ahead and find his channel real quick, and I will put uh, the link in the, the uh, in the chat. No, nope, nope, never mind. He's not live. I thought he was, but apparently he was live while I was going. My bad. So I don't know if anybody else is live. Um, but yeah. Yeah, StreamYards works really good for like getting a bunch of people on together. So, um, but yeah, we'll see you guys all in other streams here. Uh, Ken, don't delete your content, man, but just go back if you have to and put adult on every video or whatever. But I wouldn't delete your content, man. You can use this. You got good stuff there. And that, that can all be monetized, so. Gonna open some 87 Tops Mini soon. Very sweet, man. I'd like to see that. Uh, let us know when you do that. So, Alright, guys. Have a good day, and we will see you all tomorrow. Well, in the streams tonight, but we'll see you live tomorrow. So, um, have a bushy day. Peace.